Hi, I'm Ms. Terry from the Crystal Lake Public Library. I'm wondering something. Have you seen any frogs outside over the summer? I have a beautiful book about frogs I'd like to share with you today. It's called Dear Tree Frog. It's by Joyce Sidman and the pictures are by Diana Sudika. The publisher is Houghton Mifflin Harcourt and they have given us permission to share this book with you today. I hope you learn a lot about frogs and that you enjoy the beautiful pictures and words in this story. Dear Tree Frog, written by Joyce Sidman and illustrated by Diana Sudika. Here you can see it looks like she's moving into a new house. Do you see the frog? Summer. I see you suddenly among the tangled green, a tiny dollop of frog where before there was only leaf. You look so bumpy and soft, all tucked inside yourself, watching me, watching you. Are you new here too? Small and agile, great tree frogs spend most of their lives on land, quietly blending into their surroundings. So still. You hold yourself. You don't hop or scurry away. So still, the busy jumbled world slows down around you. And I slow down too. When startled, tree frogs freeze rather than leap away. They count on their own natural camouflage for protection. Such quiet feet and tender toes that stick so well to everything you climb, exploring each wet leaf and velvet petal, holding tight as they dip and sway. Tree frogs' long, delicate feet are extremely sensitive to movement and vibration, and their sticky toe pads allow them to climb bushes and trees. To find you, I must be a little different from my everyday self. As bees whiz, leaves tickle, heels sink into soft dirt, I look and breathe and settle, growing calmer steadier, a little less lonely. Tree frogs depend on the sun for warmth and energy, but they also need enough damp shade to protect their delicate, moisture-loving skin. Here you are again, perched on a stem, like a sailor on the rigging, gold eyes sparkling with flecks of sun. I am missing a faraway friend today, tree frog, but you are the tiny master of this sea green ship and I will be your first mate. Tree frog's large eyes, set on either side of their head, are always open and catch any movement around them. To clean and protect their eyes, they can blink a transparent third eyelid. remember your other life, swimming through duckweed with a tail like a ribbon? Do you remember how the water felt against your skin? How you could drink and breathe at the same time? How fast you could move without legs? Do you remember when you wriggled up into the sunshine? How strange it felt to take your very first hop from one life into another? Tree frogs start life as tiny jelly-covered eggs in a pond. They hatch into fat, round tadpoles with tails, swimming in water and breathing through gills. During the next six to eight weeks, the tadpoles grow legs and their tails begin to shrink. They spend more and more time outside the water 
until they finally live on land full time. Some kids came over today. I thought I wanted to share your upturned face, your quiet hello. We searched in all the usual places, inside giant rhubarb ears, deep in the forest of daylilies. Those kids cartwheeled and trampled and scoffed and left. You hid, and afterward, I was glad. When a tree frog first hops out onto land, it is only three quarters of an inch long. To reach its adult length of two inches, it must shed its outer skin many times and will often find a hidden place to do so. The world is wet and wild tonight, roaring, thrashing, booming. I hope you are somewhere safe, tree frog, holding on tight with those grippy toes, riding your snug saddle of leaves. After a day of rest, tree frogs begin hunting for insects and worms. Hunting at night helps tree frogs avoid daytime predators, such as snakes, birds, and larger frogs. Next morning, the yard swims with wrecked leaves and tattered twigs. As the sun blinks open and the birds sing the world back together again, I love knowing my days might have frogs in them. Although they must shelter from strong winds, tree frogs welcome the rain, which cleans and refreshes their skin. Sometimes when I can't find you, I find something else I've never said hello to. Hello, spotted dragon, glittery fly, gray high jumper. Hello, furry butterfly, shy beetle, pale plant hopper. I see you now. A network of creatures share the tree frog's habitat. Insects munch on flowering plants and also help adult butterflies pollinate those flowers. Dragonflies catch flies and mosquitoes, then are scooped up by birds and bats. Can you find the dragonfly? Fall. No frogs today in the yard, at the park, or by the pond. Good thing I took pictures of you with my eyes to keep inside me when I am trying to be brave. Gray tree frog skin can change color from gray to green to brown, which helps them hide on tree bark, leaves, and stones. Looks like she's going to school. In gym today, during child's pose, I became a tree frog, curled around the still green center of my heart. Others found their centers too. So many tree frogs there on the gym floor. Sometimes young tree frogs of the same age will gather near one another. On a sunny day, you might see several sharing the same leafy plant. There's someone I want you to meet, tree frog. Someone who likes to look. Someone who doesn't mind waiting. Someone whose smile reminds me of yours. Can you please come out and say hello? Tree frogs seem as still as statues, but they actually hop, wiggle, and crawl up to a hundred yards a day, looking for food and shelter. Dear tree frog, here you are. Against the window glass, we see more of you than ever. Your pale belly and gummy toes, your half-moon throat that flutters silently, your breath so close to ours. Tree frogs often climb windows and walls with their sticky toe pads, looking for insects. They hide in unexpected places, on a hose, on top of a faucet, under a flower pot. You never know when you might run into a tree frog. These golden leaves remind me of your eyes. This puddle ice reminds us of the deep down place you'll sleep this winter, tucked away, safe, 
strong, patient. As the weather cools, tree frogs search for a place to hibernate beneath logs, rocks, or leaf litter. Winter. Like two hands holding each other through chilly winds, we will wait for you. To endure extreme cold, tree frogs' bodies create a special chemical that protects their insides from freezing completely. Their hearts stop beating and they do not breathe. Can you find the frog under the snow? Spring. Anything is possible among the soft spring fronds and singing waters of this wide green world when you are a tree frog or when you are looking for one. As spring warms their bodies, tree frogs slowly thaw out and emerge from hibernation. They return to the pond where they hatched to lay or fertilize new frog eggs. During this period, the air rings with their musical calls. We see you suddenly, a tiny dollop of frog, where before there was only leaf. You look so familiar, all tucked inside yourself, watching us, watching you. Dear tree frog, did you miss us too? With luck and a welcoming habitat, tree frogs can live seven to nine years in a cozy half acre of land. If you enjoyed this book, come to the library and get some books about tree frogs. That was Dear Tree Frog by Joyce Sidman with pictures by Diana Sudika.